Greetings world. We are Anonymous. We are here with you today to clarify on two operations the mainstream media are reverencing. Operation ISIS and Operation Trump. Two operations which seek to further divide and discredit the Anonymous Collective. We will begin with Operation ISIS. The Islamic State is a small state which brutally censors visiting journalists and its own people. As such it must be opposed. The question is, in what manner should it be opposed? We think it's great if people want to hack ISIS and publish their secrets. But engaging in social media censorship campaigns and dealing with intelligence contractors and government agents is deeply absurd. The former will contribute to legitimize the spread of internet censorship and will lead to the increased censorship for everyone. Dealing with government agents will not only result in many more informers and anonymous, but it will also damage its reputation, as it will lead to a view that anonymous is too near the interests of U.S. intelligence. The same intelligence industry that runs their own NSA hacking operations against ISIS uses the same counter-terrorism justification to spy on everyday civilians with no regards for rights to privacy, encryption, or anonymity. They have always targeted anonymous and other dissident groups as terrorists, and when they aren't trying to discredit or imprison us, they are attempting to co-opt us, sometimes openly by attending conferences like DEF CON, seducing us with promises of money or calls for patriotic duty, other times covertly lurking around IRC channels attempting to steer us unwittingly into supporting their agenda. We would like to strongly advise to always release information to the public, as we want to operate in its interest. Any attempts to act in secrecy, supporting political or governmental organizations, will be discouraged by us, or completely ignored to safeguard our allies and supporters fighting for openness and transparency within governments, dictatorships and organizations around the globe that control various aspects of our lives. We are on the side of the oppressed, not the oppressors. We support the victims of war, not the war makers. The second operation the mainstream media adore is Operation Trump. In short, this operation goes against everything that Anonymous stands for. Threatening a presidential candidate to keep his mouth shut concerning a subject is censorship. We are for everyone letting their voice be heard, even if the person at hand is a monster. These same words can be said towards another infamous operation which the mainstream media hails. Operation Sam Pepper. We condemn his actions, but bigger things are at hand than a cynical, deranged, narcissistic YouTuber, conducting protests, or informing yourself of X, and then exposing X for who they really are under the veil of security, is a much safer route than threatening their livelihood. There is no need for leaks to expose X. There is enough information out there. The problem is, too many people are too unwilling or too misinformed to tackle said subject. Stay vigilant. The mainstream media can be bought, bullied, and negotiated with. In the end, it's all about fear and revenue. There is an unequal amount of good and bad in most things. The trick is to figure out the ratio and act accordingly. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.